I'm Dr. Hossein Sadegi Nejad from Rutgers New Jersey Medical School and Hackensack University Medical Center presenting our study that is to be published in the Korean Journal of Urology. This study entitled Prophylactic Phenylephrine for Iatrogenic Priapism, a pilot study with Peyronie's patients, is looking at the uh, common uh, an integral procedure that is penile duplex ultrasonography in uh, patients who are getting intracavernosal injections. Now with the recent FDA approval of intralesional collagenase, it may be anticipated that more patients would be getting intralesional injections as part of their diagnostic workup for Peyronie's disease. So the aim of the present study was uh, to look at the idea of investigating uh, whether or not we can support a standard uh, low-dose administration of phenylephrine at the end of the studies for patients who have rigid erections about 15 minutes beyond the uh, end of the study, which would typically be 60 minutes after they have received their vasoactive alprostadil in this case or in uh, other uh, scenarios where patients may receive papaverin or bimix. In this study, everybody uh, was in fact receiving alprostadol. So uh, in terms of the materials and methods for the reported study, this was a retrospective analysis of 77 patients uh, in uh, our center who underwent penile duplex Doppler ultrasound as part of diagnostic workup for Peyronie's uh, disease. The patients routinely received 10 micrograms of alprostadil. In some cases, they were uh, redosed. And if at the end of the study, they had an erection that was rated as four to five on a scale of one to five, with four and five being the more rigid erections, at this point, uh, they received 200 micrograms of uh, phenylephrine, as well as firm pressure at the base of the penis to reverse the erection. Uh, so the results of our work were that 77 patients uh, studied uh, and 44 had persistent rigidity uh, with an erection score of 4 to 5, 15 minutes beyond uh, the end of the study. And in fact, these are the patients who received phenylephrine. The demographics and patient characteristics, uh, comorbidities were very similar between those who did receive phenylephrine and those who didn't. Uh, all 44 patients uh, achieved uh, complete detumescence uh, at the uh, end uh, of the injection uh, of phenylephrine uh, with a firm pressure of five minutes, and there were no reports of palpitations, hypotension. Uh, the blood pressure changes uh, were insignificant and less than uh, 10, uh, 10 systolic uh, for, for the evaluated uh, patients. Now, uh, for the discussion and the conclusions of this study, I think it is important to remember that the, there is in the general community of urologists and physicians a great fear uh, of phenylephrine and its hemodynamic uh, effects. We also have to remember that when these patients present late to the emergency room or to the doctor's offices, if, if they have true priapism that has lasted four, five, or six hours, we all know that this is a much bigger challenge, often requiring injections and aspirations, and even in some rare cases, a trip to the operating room for various shunt procedures. So what we have shown in this small pilot study is that if you select the patients correctly and choose those with truly rigid erections at the end of the investigation, the diagnostic test, which is typically, as we said, about 60 minutes, beyond the point where the alprostadil has been given, and you give them a low dose of phenylephrine and take advantage of its adrenergic effects at that point, this is very safe, and you will be avoiding the unnecessary trips back to the emergency room or, or your office and the deleterious effects uh, of uh, long-lasting priapism. Uh, we are hoping uh, that this small pilot study would serve uh, as a basis for uh, larger patient databases in the future, incorporating very specific endpoints uh, and standards for when, in fact, phenylephrine uh, can be administered or should be administered uh, to patients who may uh, be anticipated to have iatrogenic priapism down the line. Thank you very much.